If the pandemic has taught us one thing, it's that never celebrate too early. But it has also shown us that you can innovate in fields which you thought could not be innovated any further. So in this video, I'm going to introduce two things. One is the other side of my room and second is this center cam. The project is literally called center cam and it is a camera which comes to the center of your screen. So that helps with your eye contact during video calls. I mean, the concept sounds pretty simple and straightforward, right? It's almost too simple to be called innovative, but it does make a drastic difference. I mean, think about it. A camera in the center of your screen that's tiny enough that doesn't block the actual contents of your screen, but also makes it look like you're looking at the viewer, I mean, the other caller in the eye, while also uh, seeing the screen at the same time. I mean, the module which is showcased in this uh, campaign video, it's pretty small. I don't think it'll block anything major on the screen and let's be honest even if it doesn't look really nice and it looks very homemade uh, the solutions that we have nowadays aren't really solutions the cameras that are traditionally present on the top of our laptops well they make us look upwards when the person is actually on the screen and when we look at the person on the screen it makes it look like we are looking downwards right it doesn't really ensure a proper eye contact that we would have with the face-to-face -face conversation and then there are those weird laptops with a nose cam underneath the uh, the bottom bezel I mean, it's really no surprise. Simple solutions are oftentimes the best because uh, they require the least amount of effort to implement in your life and they work the best, right? As long as it works fine, who cares how it looks? And they themselves mentioned that when you're not using it, you can simply slide that uh, camera thingy hanging on your screen to the side. I mean, there are some uh, decent amount of bezel on most of our laptops on the side, so you can use that bezel to hide that camera away when you're not using it. And it's an adjustable camera with a long cable so you can adjust the clip length so you can adjust how long or uh, uh, to what extent it hangs from the top of your screen. The camera modules present on our laptops have always been tiny so there's no reason that they couldn't be uh, kind of encapsulated in a tiny body which is almost the same as an earphone's form factor. It's interesting how this person came up with this idea because uh, many of them think that it is a pretty good concept. Out of the $8,900 which was required for this campaign it has well crossed over $64,000 at this point so obviously it's a pretty hit idea. I mean, that's the equivalent of me uh, looking at the camera sensor and speaking or me looking at a preview window and speaking. So that does make a huge difference, isn't it? I mean, human beings always require eye contact when we are speaking. I mean, that's the reason why we look at our own reflection, because we are looking for eyes when we are speaking to someone. Speaking to a camera doesn't seem natural at first. And someone like me who makes useless videos all day, I'm, I'm used to looking at the camera and I only look at the preview when I want to. But, uh, you know, someone who just casually makes phone calls and uh, just attending them on a daily basis for uh, just any other reason than actually looking at the camera and being presentable, they may not do that in the best ways. So that may lead to a suboptimal communication experience, something that this center cam tries to solve. I mean, we oftentimes talk about pretty impressive, complex, futuristic tech in this uh, in this channel and because, you know, it, it is fascinating to see something that's so complex being developed in our modern time. But it's always refreshing to know that something so simple can still be implemented with our uh, modern day complexities. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to learn more about the center cam project. Let me know what you think. I think it's pretty awesome and I hope that this person has patented the technology. Otherwise, we'll see some uh, low quality Chinese knockoffs uh, in a very similar way that we saw the selfie sticks and uh, the fidget spinners. Share this with someone who constantly does video calls on a daily basis. Ask them if it's a good idea. And well, if you'd like to receive more videos like this on your subscription feed, then you know what to do. I'll see you next time. Cheers.